Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Unbelievable! Hollywood celebs went too far and disgraced America on 4th of July. The far leftist socialists in Hollywood just can't even give it a rest for even one day. Hollywood stars took to social media to send messages of doom, gloom, and resistance to President Donald Trump in honor of Independence Day. To every country on the 4th of July, we're sorry about our president. He doesn't reflect all of our views, and we hope you know that the majority of us are ashamed," wrote former Netflix talk show host Chelsea Handler. We will rally each other and come back to the world one step at a time. Hashtag November is coming Hashtag also sorry about hot dogs. Yesterday for July 4 Hollywood celebrities took it upon themselves to go on social media to send messages of doom, gloom, and even resistance to President Donald Trump in honor of Independence Day. A day which was made possible by our forefathers who decided the government intervention from Great Britain wasn't acceptable anymore. Some others were just as bad but at least they didn't call for an outright revolution. Obviously, the list is way too long but as you can probably imagine most unhinged celebrities had something to say. If only they would have been so outspoken when thanks to Obama's lies 6 million of us lost our health insurance coverage. Here is more on this via Breitbart. Veteran Hollywood actor and stand-up comedian Dennis Miller joined Sirius XM host Alex Marlowe on Friday's edition of Breitbart News Daily to declare that the personal attacks on President Donald Trump from Hollywood elites like late-night host Samantha Bee will soon ensure he wins re-election in 2020. Miller made it clear early and often that he couldn't care less about Samantha Bee, who lost two-thirds of her national advertisers a week after calling President Trump's daughter a feckless cunt on her TBS show. I don't care about her apology, Miller explained. As soon as she said it, I thought, she'll catch some heat from that, be honored by some women's organization. She'll keep that job. I just can't stew in it." The Saturday Night Live alum views B and her Hollywood leftist counterparts' constant attacks on the president as the main motivation for voters, who will likely look to reward Trump for his policy achievements in 2020. Going green had fallen away due to the number that weren't quite working. It just became tired. Everybody had gone green. They were looking for the next thing and a never-Trumper is the new I've gone green movement," Miller said of Hollywood leftists and left-wing activists. I sit back and delight in it because, I'm telling you, the people at large are going to give them all these small victories," Miller said of the voters who will tune out leftist elites. But if he denuclearizes the North Korean peninsula, if this economy keeps raging like this, if he keeps doing this, diffusing that whole we're the intelligence, and you're the slobs thing, he's going to leave office in four or eight years, I think, eight because of what they're doing," Miller said of the left and their resistance to Trump. You cannot wake up every day with good things on the horizon and then say he's Adolf Hitler," Miller continued. People are going to nod. But I'm telling you, as three years hence, as they go to vote, he's getting re-elected because of all this crap. Miller's bi-weekly pop culture and politics podcast, The Dennis Miller Option, is available on PodcastOne.com and iTunes. Miller will perform next at the Wellmont Theater in Montclair, New Jersey, on Saturday, June 16, in advance of the taping of his stand-up special at the Beja Theater in Knoxville, Tennessee, scheduled for Saturday, June 23. We all understand Hollywood is a place where reality isn't present and because of this they live in a world not many of us will ever even be able to comprehend. Not that we would even want to consider how ridiculous these people sound every time they are faced with a real-life issue. When Senator McCarthy in the 50s was sounding the alarm and going after what he saw as an infiltration of communists in Hollywood people ridiculed him and Hollywood won. But he was right, and today we see it more than ever. Maybe it's time another McCarthy type do the same, but I am pretty sure that if this happens there won't be many celebrities left since well over 90% in La La Land. Seeing how these people have acted towards President Trump it's really sad to see that so many Americans still admire celebrities, but on the other hand. It's also very satisfying to see how their movies and TV shows are becoming something of the past since not many people are watching what Hollywood puts out these days. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.